Okay, you guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is put on some Carmex. I'm just trying to make sure all the tangles are out. Most of the time, I really don't tie down my hair, you guys. So that's why my hair is looking like this. I literally just curled my hair like three days ago. Now it's back to square one. So, so what I'm doing, I'm just combing my hair making sure all the tangles are out. Then I'm gonna take a hair tie and I'm going to split this up. I'm gonna split my hair up in two sections. I'm just going to put this section up in a ponytail cause I'm only gonna be working on this side for now. Before I start curling my hair, this is what I'm gonna put on my hair to make it nice and silky. It's Chi Silk Infusion. All what you need is a dime size amount and I'm just going to rub that in my hands and I'm just going to spread it all throughout my hair so I can have a nice shine after I'm done curling my hair. The curling wand I'm using, it looks just like this. This one is by Remington. Yeah, this one's by Remington. I believe I got this at Walmart. And I'm going to set it on 410 degrees to curl my hair. I'm going to start off in the back, you guys. So what I'm doing is gathering my hair like this. And I'm just going to take little bitty sections at a time to curl my hair. So this is the size you want to work with. Now I'm just going to twist the rest of my hair and I'm going to use one of these little clamps. You can get these at Walmart. I'm going to clip this section right at the top of my hair. There. Now I'm just going to use my rat tail comb to make sure all the tangles are completely out. Now that this piece is ready to curl, I'm going to take my curling wand and I'm just going to just going to wrap it so I have it pointed downward like this do not burn your neck and I'm just going to wrap it around the barrel be really careful you guys when you're curling your hair because this barrel gets really hot so I'm just gonna leave that for about 15 seconds Okay, after I'm done with that, I'm gonna hold the curl before I drop it. So the curl can be just a little tighter. That's why I'm holding it like this. This is how your curl should look like. This curl is not too tight, it's not too loose, but that is how your curl should look like. I'm just going to pretty much do the same thing with the rest of my head. When you're wrapping the hair around the curling iron, make sure you're not wrapping it like this to where there's not really any space because then they'll come out super tight. You need to make sure you're wrapping it. Ouch, just burnt myself. You need to wrap it and make sure you see little spaces in between the hair strands, if that makes sense. Just don't wrap it around too tight is what I'm trying to say. So far here are how the curls are looking, you guys. These are how they look, all bouncy and full. They're really pretty and shiny. So I'm done with this side. I haven't combed them out or anything yet, but I'm gonna show you guys what direction I curl my hair on my right side. So I'm gonna start off in the back again, and I'm just going to pinch a little piece. That much right there. 
twisting the rest and putting it up like that. Now I'm gonna take my rat tail comb. Ooh, sis. Ooh. Golly, I got a knot. I really need to start tying down my hair properly. Now that my hair is tangle free, I'm gonna take my curling wand, I'm gonna point it downward. Please do not burn your neck, you guys. I've almost burned my neck doing it this way, but you're gonna take it and you're just gonna wrap it around. So I'm just wrapping around away from my face. I'm gonna hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds. Now let the curl, I'm letting the curl fall into my hand. I'm gonna hold it until it cools off. And then, see, it's the same kind of curl on this side. So I'm done curling my hair, you guys. This is normally how it looks when I'm done curling it. Um, what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna take this big comb right here and I'm just going to start from my ends and just work my way up. Actually, I'm gonna use my fingers first and then I'm gonna take my big comb to separate the curls even more. Okay, now we need the big comb. What is going on right here? These curls are so pretty. Look at them, you guys. They're pretty. I'm starting from the ends, you guys, because I really don't want the curls to get frizzy. Well, at least I'm trying to start from the ends so the curls don't get frizzy. I'm just going to comb the back. All right. I'm taking the rat tail comb to comb my hair up a little bit like that because I want a little hump and then I'm going to use the rat tail comb comb my hair down in the front because I want the curls to spread out just a little bit more in the front. I'm going to take this hair grease. It's by Murray's. This is how it looks. It's called beeswax. I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it on top of my hair just to get rid of the short hairs and also to just make my hair lay down flat and just look really good. So after I do that, I'm gonna tuck this side behind my ear. So what I'm gonna do is just comb everything back. Leave that piece in the front. My ears are so little. Ooh, the comb got stuck. I'm just going to, I'm gonna grab some bobby pins. Voila. So that is how I get my hair really nice and curly. I'm not going to put any holding spray on my hair because I don't plan on keeping this hairstyle. I actually want to straighten my hair after I wash this wig and stuff again. 
So this is the finished look. But normally if I was to keep this hair in for maybe a week or so, I would spray hairspray so my curls can hold up pretty good. I got this hair from Diamond Virgin Hair Company. I do not remember the lengths I got, but I got their Mink Brazilian Wavy Hair Texture. And I also got a frontal and I just had my amazing stylist make it into a wig for me. This hair has its natural shine, so you really don't need that much product on this hair. And also, you do not have to have the same curling wand I have. All you need is a curling wand and you do not have to use cheese silk infusion to get like a shine. I, that was just the only one I had in the house. But thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. If you guys have any other questions, you can comment below and I'll be more than happy to answer all of your questions. And thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.